sorrowful heart. And sometimes y'all, we in that place. And then sometimes he told us to come worship and praising and singing. We know we have those. But Psalm 51 is one of the ones that he's teaching us how to praise his name. How to worship. How to give him things. For he said, enter to his gates with what? Thanksgiving into his court for what? Praise. Why do we enter with praise? Because we're what? We tell us the next four. Be thankful to him and bless his name for what? Verse 5 tell us. What does it say? For the Lord is what? The Lord is what? The Lord is what? And his mercy is what? Who do we know good to us than God? Who have been good gooder toward us than God? Because if I was given my just due, I'd be dead in hell. If I was one love by our Heavenly Father, do you think any of us be saved and sanctified mm. and filled with God's precious Holy Ghost? Do you think we would have been washed in His blood? We all have been redeemed. We all have been set apart. He called us his peculiar people. Yeah. He said, you're precious in the eyes of who? Of God. Yeah. Because of who he is. That's enough. Because he's good. Yeah. He's loving. Yeah. He's kind. He's compassionate. Yeah. And because of this, we come here. We enter. And we praise and bless his holy name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh Lord. For the Lord is good. Oh, yeah. His mercy. Yeah. Oh, I thank God for his mercy. Yeah. How many of us every day say, Lord, have mercy on me? Yeah. Have mercy on me. Because sometimes I'm, I'm going to be honest, my thinking ain't the best. Yeah. And then sometimes my action ain't the best. And sometimes temptation can get to the best to the best of some of, of the best of us. Amen. And we have to find ourselves what? Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Amen. Why? We need his mercy. But most of all, we need his mercy because we need to be saved yeah. from our sins. Yeah. We need to be delivered. We need to be healed. Yeah. Not only in a physical sense, but mentally, physically, emotionally. And then some of us need financial healing. Yeah. And then some of us need, need, need relationship healing. Yeah. See, mercy. What? Something that I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. But yes, he see fit. Yeah. Because of who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Not because of who I am. Yeah. Because guess what? Even at my best, I'm nothing but what? Feel the rags. Even at our best. And some of us, we think that when we come in here, we don't give our best. But what about out there? Yeah. What about out there? Yeah. Four groups of people God gave assignment to the church for. And I'm just about to finish this. The widows and the orphans, the poor and the needy. And as long as they're poor and needy, widows and orphans, there's work to be done. Amen. And right now he said the harvest tool is what? Plentiful. But the labors are what? Yeah. Then he told us to pray that what? That God, who sinned? The, who sinned? Who sinned? Who sinned? God sinned. Yeah. When too many times we want to make ourselves or we want, we want to make him sin. Yeah. He told us to pray that he sinned. Yeah. Because he knows who have the gift, the talent, yeah. the skills. The word, the encouragement yeah. to be a blessing to that person. Yeah. See, everybody's not our assignment. Yeah. 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 All right. I had to learn that the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's not our assignment. Yeah. Right. 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 
But when he sends you, he have already given you the tools that you need in order to fulfill the task that he has given to you. Because guess what? His mercy endures to what? But back up. Not only is his mercy is everlasting, but his truth. Seems like right now we're living in a, a time when the truth is not always being told. Right now, we see in our society, in the world, where too many of us have one feet. I'll repeat that, where too many of us have one feet. We want to do things as the world, as we see done in the world. Repeat what the world is saying, and then put it into practice in God's house. Can't do it. Individual decision I had to make some years back is when I stood up boldly at morning and started saying I refuse to compromise. Can't do it. When God has convicted you on what his will is for his kingdom, you can't compromise. What's the danger when we compromise with the world mm. or trying to please man rather than God, yeah, yeah. we lose our anointing. You will lose your anointing. You will lose your effectiveness. And because of this, when I go to be a blessing, I go alone. Mm. God ain't behind me. He ain't with me. We don't want to go anywhere on this journey where God is not out in front. That's the reason why. I just pray that God knows for a week work, I just pray that God had given the word to someone here today. Because truly, I poured my heart what he gave to me yeah. this morning since 4.30 yeah. because there's nothing that I wrote. <laughs> so all of you just know this. I'm not going to say I. I'm not going to say you. I'm just going to say we. Yeah. We love God. and said, can you feel his presence? Can you just feel his presence? Can you feel his anointing? So when we come into his presence, there's a song that just hit my mind saying, when we come into his house together Church, say amen.
What an anointing. What an anointing. God bless you, God 